at the beginning of the winter's tale leontes um, is saying goodbye to his friend his great friend his best friend who stayed with him and his wife for nine months and in the middle of this farewell scene leontes has a psychotic breakdown and imagines completely irrationally that his best friend has been having sex with his wife and this drives him insane and he um, plots to murder the best friend and in effect shame his wife and in effect murder her. Um, so both of them by the end of the uh, act as far as he's concerned are, 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 have been dispatched. But we ask ourselves why does he do this because there's absolutely no evidence at all to him that they've been having sex. Um, and I think that the answer to the question is it's very difficult sometimes to spot the answer because it's so completely obvious. It's like in um, Edgar Allan Poe's wonderful short story, The Purloined Letter, um, when somebody hides a letter by putting it in full view of the person who's searching for it. But this is so obvious that we miss it. But the fact is that the scene begins with Polixenes saying goodbye to Leontes, and he really doesn't like it, and doesn't know that he doesn't like it, and he has no idea how much anguish that this causes him. So yes, he wants um, Polixenes to stay, but he has no idea that this is causing a, an enormous seismic upset inside him. And so he um, seeks unconsciously to connect it to things that happen in the real world. This may sound exotic, but unfortunately it isn't. It's, we, n none of us likes to say goodbye to people we love. None of us likes to endure loss. None of us likes to be abandoned or separated. Um, we, we really don't like it at all. But in some people, it passes a certain mark and it becomes psychotic and overwhelming. And that's what I think happens to Leontes. I think very often when we are filled and consumed with anxiety, for reasons we don't understand. We know that we have the anxiety, but we can't bear for the anxiety to be unnamed. We can't bear very often to think, I just feel appallingly anxious and I don't know why. So we will supply reasons when they're not there. We'll supply causes, and we'll imagine that the thing that's making us anxious is something that's in the real world, whereas in fact very often it's something that just comes from inside.